Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I was working on a blog post for a client. I used ChatGPT to help me speed things up, like I always do, but this time something went wrong. The client ran it through an AI detection tool, GPT-0, and the entire article came back flagged as 100% AI generated. So I wanna show you something that's honestly kind of scary if you use AI for writing like I do. Let's say I'm writing a blog for a client about AI and marketing. I open up ChatGPT and type this prompt. Write a 200 word article on how AI is transforming digital marketing strategies. You get the idea? It sounds polished, professional, and ready to go, right? But here's where things take a turn. I copy that exact response and paste it into GPT-0, a tool that detects whether content is AI generated and it gets completely flagged. Likely to be AI generated. Every sentence is marked as high probability. Basically, if I sent this to a client or a professor, there's a high chance they'd question if I wrote it myself. That's the problem. Even if you're using AI as a helper, if the final content gets flagged like this, it could ruin your credibility or even cost you the opportunity. I've been in that situation before and I needed a solution fast. That's when I found Woter.ai. Out of curiosity, I copied that same flagged article, the one GPT-0 hated, and pasted it into Woter. Literally, no rewriting on my end. Just hit humanize. The transformation was wild. After about five seconds, Woter gave me back a version that felt like it was written by me. The tone was natural, the flow was smooth, and nothing felt robotic or forced but Woter.ai doesn't stop at just humanizing your content. One of the coolest things about Woter is the personal need button. With it, you can actually customize the format, tone, style, and even the length of your content. Whether you need something formal for a business email or casual for a blog post, Woter adapts to your voice. And if you're a content creator or SEO writer, this next part will blow your mind. You can lock in your keywords so they don't get rewritten or inject new ones with precision. It's an absolute game changer for anyone writing for search engines or working with strict content briefs. No more manually reinserting terms after humanizing. Woder takes care of that for you. But I wanted proof. So I copied the humanized version and pasted it back into GPT-0. And guess what? It passed, like completely. The results showed the content was likely human written with no red flags. I even tested it a few times with different parts of the article just to be sure and it held up, but I didn't stop there. Next, I opened up Grammarly because, okay, maybe it's undetectable, but is it still readable? Does it actually sound like good writing? I dropped the Woder.ai version into Grammarly and it scored Thay 92. That's solid. Grammarly highlighted a few style suggestions, but overall it marked the content as well-written, engaging, and grammatically strong. And that's a big deal, especially when a lot of other AI humanizers spit out content that feels clunky and flat. Let me show you a quick before and after, just to make this real. Here's a line from the original AI draft kind of stiff, right? Even if the ideas are mine, if the structure feels too AI-ish, people just won't trust it. And if you're a student, that's even riskier. Professors use tools like GPT-0 now. And if your paper gets flagged, you could lose marks or worse, face plagiarism accusations. So I started looking for ways to humanize my AI assisted content. I tried a few tools that claim to make AI text more human, but honestly, most of them made things worse. The sentences came out janky, repetitive, or just didn't make sense anymore. It was like taking good ideas and stuffing them into a blender. Now here's the woder.ai version, same idea but the second version sounds like something a real person would actually say. That's the magic of Woder. It's not just changing words, it's rewriting with natural tone, rhythm, and sentence flow. And it's the only AI humanizer I've used that doesn't turn your content into trash. The message stays the same, the grammar stays strong, and most importantly, it sounds human. Before you go, let me give you the full picture, not just of the product, but of the people behind it. Woder.ai isn't just powerful, it's affordable. Their unlimited plan is just $29.99 per month, making it the most cost-effective humanizer on the market right now. And get this, if you sign up for the annual package, you get an 80% discount. That's basically a no-brainer if you do any kind of regular AI-assisted writing. 
No other tool I've tested offers that level of functionality, flexibility, and affordability in one place. So now whenever I write with AI, whether it's an article, a client email, or even a school assignment, I always run it through woder.ai before sending it off. I don't stress about AI detection tools anymore, and neither should you. If you're using tools like ChatGPT to help with writing, that's fine. We all do it. But don't let your work get flagged or penalized because it sounds too AI. Run it through woder.ai. Test the results in GPT-0. Throw it into Grammarly, see for yourself. Once you do, you'll realize this is the one tool that actually works. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.